Hey guys, it's Matt, and welcome to the start of a new Redstone series. Um, this is going to be replacing Redstone 101. That was a, I didn't like that series because it didn't have a focus. Um, as you can tell from the title below, this is called Minecraft Map Mechanics. Uh, I'm going to be covering like certain devices and stuff used in certain Minecraft adventure maps and stuff. Sort of like with Predator and high pixel maps, things like that. And I thought I'd be a bit more classy with it, I've, rather than just being in a big super flat world. Um, have it in a proper Minecraft world so we can do like you know experiments in places if it's got TNT involved and stuff so this is my like experimental lab um, I, I sort of messed this up I accidentally activated some TNT which is a bit of a mistake so you know it's slightly broken I'll, I'll, you know, I'll fix it later so um, the topic for this video is actually going to be timers um, and specifically the six minute timer used in Predator so we'll go to the experimental environment which is here um, basically, the timer used in Predator was the same one that Seth Bling and Hypixel used in their Team Fortress 2 map. And it was really big, it was really long, it was longer than this, and it worked slightly, but I didn't like it. It was too big. I wanted to condense it. I don't know why I'm looking at this, there's nothing to do with it. This is what I'm supposed to be looking at. It was too big, and it wasn't as robust um, as this one. I'll show you what I mean. Basically, the way these timers work is that the minecarts will go up to the top and will fall through the cobwebs. Now, for those who don't know, a cobweb... Well, when a Minecraft minecart falls through a cobweb, it takes exactly 30 seconds to travel through it. So, it'll take a minute for it to pass through these two. It'll take a minute to pass through those, 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 and those. And so, six minutes overall. Now, the way it was split up in the last timer that we used is it was in individual, just single... Um, cobwebs there we go so it goes it falls through one cobweb then goes to the next one then the next one individually so that if the game ends because most games won't last six minutes when the game ends the minecart rather than going into the next cobweb will actually hit a track and go back to the start and so the reason it was split up was because if it was one big drop you wouldn't be able to get rid of the minecart you'd have to wait six minutes which would be a bit rubbish really but the, the problem with that timer was that if it just went into the next one, you'd have to wait 30 seconds for the next game to start. So it was a bit rubbish. This is a lot more compact. So if we if we start this, so we've got the start button here. The only downside, it takes a bit of time for the minecart to go up to the top. But in like Predator and stuff, it's not really a big deal. So six minutes remaining, as that command block says. And it'll take a minute, it'll hit. And then to activate these, it'll hit um, tripwire. So that's why there's a gap there. You don't have to have the gap. If you don't want to have it to tell you how many minutes are left or any redstone coming out of it you don't need it but I did so I've added in a bit of you know, tripwire there so the way you get this minecart out of it as you can probably tell to be honest the pistons push it out although pistons don't push it out all the way it only push it out a little bit so the reset button which is here what actually does it activates a clock and it just keeps pushing at it until it does fall out there we go and then it resets it so that is basically the gist of it when the game ends a game of predator um, it'll just activate these pistons and will keep pushing it until it does fall out and then this detector rail will stop them from pushing. So that's really all there is to show, to be honest. It's a very basic design. I'll go through a bit of the redstone there, but all it does is, rather than it convert, uh, like turning a load of corner tracks, it just takes all of the, co um, the cobwebs, puts it all into one pile. And then this also means we don't have to wait 30 seconds to reset the timer. We can just do it instantly, near enough anyway, like a couple of seconds. And then it will just push it out, it should fall next, there we go. And then it just resets the timer. Now the way this works is the reset is it presses... The, the button doesn't have to be here, it was originally there, just for looks I've put it here. So what that does, it doesn't hit the track at all. It powers this block here, which powers this redstone. This goes into an RS null latch, so it saves. This, this side turns on, this side turns off, and it stays like that. Since this side turns off... This turns off as well, which lets this torch turn on. This is a clock. Of course, that goes to all the pistons. Since that's a clock, the pistons will keep going in, out, in, out, in, out all the time until the minecart lands, hits this detector rail, and turns this side of the RS knowledge back on, resetting it and stopping that from ticking. And that's it's a it's a really simple design. It doesn't need to be done in 1.5. It could be done in 1.4, but I just like the redstone blocks. They just they're brilliant. But yeah, that's going to be in the Predator 2 map. Um, a lot of these videos actually will be showing some of the new things in the Predator 2 Redstone because I've been messing around with the 1.5 stuff and you can do so much with it. It is great. 
but I've not actually seen this red. I've not seen this time design at all anywhere. Um, even like the Sethling and Hypixel maps didn't do it like this. It did it. It did it with separate cobwebs, and this could have been done in the time that when they at the time of them making it. So I think they may have overlooked it or something like that. But it's a really simple design, a lot more compact and a lot better since you can stop it whenever you want. For those wondering, this timer here is based off Hypixel's The Walls map with the timer, except the redstone behind it is basically the same, but I've remade it. There's no, it's no better. It's not better. I've just remade. I've just built it myself. Um, all it does is it lets you count down. It's a really compact way of having a massive timer. As is 59 minutes, 59 seconds. And if I set this going, um, there's a button somewhere. There we go. I'll press that. So I'll set that going. A lot of pistons go in. Oh, okay then. It stopped for some reason. Why has it done that? Oh, that. Oh yeah, I've, I didn't finish that. It's still slightly broken. So there we go. So we start counting down, and that'll count. That'll take an hour to count down. So you know, it's a pretty long timer and pretty compact for an hour. I might show them how to build that, but yeah, it's it's pretty complicated. It's not complicated. It's just condensed. But yeah. That was the point of this video, the six minute timer. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll do a few more of these. Leave suggestions for stuff. This map may go up for download when there's more stuff on it. There isn't much at the moment. There's just this testing area. And then my broken, damn it, machine that lets me... Well, this was supposed to be for. was like you could middle click and get the blocks. But all, all, they're all gone now because I accidentally activated the TNT that was there. Which is a bit annoying. Um, but apart from that... Um, that's all there is for this video, so I will see you in the next video guys.